So you know the Eastern Partnership Culture Program has two components. The first component is a, a grant component giving cultural actors, mainly non-governmental uh, organizations, the opportunity to uh, improve uh, 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 something in their field of expertise in the cultural sector. Um, but this is accompanied by a second component, a so-called capacity, comp capacity building component, that tries via different means uh, to build capacities for cultural actors, state and non-state actors, to improve the efficiency and the uh, uh, effectiveness in the cultural sector. And the cross-cutting workshop that we are having here today is one of those means, trying uh, providing uh, with uh, support of experts, uh, invited experts, uh, possibility to reflect on what the uh, uh, um, NGOs, the cultural stakeholders that are involved in the different projects are doing and also to reflect beyond their individual projects in the framework of the program, EU East Culture, Eastern Cultureship Program. So, to make the cultural sector in the end uh, uh, um, more better organized and uh, uh, that the individual actors, state or non-state, are acting together to improve the field. Since the first projects are coming to an end, we are now really looking into the question of sustainability, of ownership among the beneficiaries, really what comes after the end of the project. Unfortunately, the EU cannot provide uh, 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 permanent funding, so projects are serving to introduce something new, to experiment, to pilot. But then, after the end of the project, this what experience has to be transformed into an everyday routine by the NGOs, by the organizations, by the ministries that were involved. Of course, uh, uh, the, uh, the relevance and, uh, is depending on the scope of each of the projects, and the scope is different. So we have some projects that are addressing uh, uh, preservation of cultural heritage or regional identity, but others are trying to make culture a factor of economic development book platform, for example, yeah? or, uh, 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 or Kauka Doc that presented, gave, gave here a presentation of what they achieved and beyond that with the cooperation not only with film producers but also with the ministries of education on media education with, through documentary films. So to develop the audience, the future uh, uh, demand and activists in, in the field of culture. Without that, there will be less possibilities in the future and the situation will become even worse. But one of the, the, the ch biggest challenges is really to make this diversity of actors to act together on behalf of structuring the field of culture, so to improve the context, the environment. What the European Union stands for is a uh, uh, a transnational approach to culture. So we have here, all projects have a regional approach. So they don't only deal with one country. So uh, Armenia, Azerbaijan and Georgia together, Ukraine, Armenia and uh, 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 Belarus or whatsoever. So we have different fields of culture, but also the different countries of the Eastern Partnership are acting here together and learning from each other on best practices, uh, lessons learned, what you can do in a very similar post-Soviet environment. I think this is also something very important and very much in line with EU policy who is pushing for transnational cooperation. There is a diversity of very committed people and cultural actors in the Eastern Partnership. I think that so far they did not grow up to use their potential in the best way because they were focusing on their cultural activities underestimating the importance of advocacy in the broader society and in their interaction with the ministries. 
so that uh, 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 we made maybe a step forward, but it is a small step. So therefore, there is a need for, for further uh, uh, um, continuation in working on capacity building. This is what I'm quite assured. I hope that the cultural actors in the future will become more aware of the necessity to act together on a national but also on a regional level so that really they can make their voice and their concerns, their propositions heard and really uh, convince also broader parts of the society that culture matters.